we are joined here with the star of the film, Levin Raman. Congratulations on playing this wonderful character, Fern. What an incredible psychological thriller, drama, everything is going on in this film. You have a love story, you have some emotional connection with the kid. Tell me about this role. Tell me about playing Fern. Well, I read the script and it just jumped off the page of me. I saw it in my head already and I knew that I had to do it. And there were so many layers of complexity to the character with her foster care upbringing and her parents dying and her you know, being separated from her brother and her choice to go into the military and her being processed and her alcoholism and her isolation and her just mistrusting um, nature. And I was like, this is so far from me. I have to do this. Um, so there's just not roles written like that for women that are my age. So it was such a joy and an honor. Yeah, let's talk about that. I mean, stepping into this role and taking on the character layers, how did you pace everything throughout the whole entire script and break everything down? Yeah, it was it was uh, very deliberate. Um, there's a journey that she goes on from, you know, disbelieving this myth about the tattered chameleon, this demon child in her home, and then over the course of it, she really mentally unravels and begins to believe that it's true. So I had to make that really believable, and the level of paranoia and fear that kind of grows to a fever pitch at a certain point. Um, I kind of had like um, poster board to, to, with all okay. the scenes right now, and oh, and to see where I was and where I had just come from, where I was going, and uh, to keep it straight in my head. Interesting process, interesting process. Um, now you were shooting on location. How was that like shooting out, you know, in the middle of nowhere, basically? I mean, as far as my ego is concerned, it's hard because I'm like, there's no Starbucks, there's no, you know, kale here. Um, but uh, I think it, the movie would not have been the same if we had yeah. not filmed it there. I mean, it, it added such an amazing quality to the movie that you can't buy with any level of production value. And I, well, even when I was auditioning for it, I was like, look, I, this isn't indicative of what I'm going to be able to do once I'm there because the, the place is going to, like, just surged me with so much energy and so much um, specificity. Yeah. It's very specific and I think that's what's cool about and it. And it comes across in the film. It's just the authenticity of just being out in the middle of the woods. Just you can, I mean I honestly didn't even recognize you. You transformed so well into this character. I'm sure it was probably difficult even after the film to maybe detach a little bit. It was, yeah. I, I was like wearing army fatigues every day and combat boots and you know a rucksack every day for six weeks. So it was hard to, to detach, and I had the dog tags, and I eventually I had to take them off when we filmed, after we got done filming, and I was like, okay, it's time to let her go, you know, and yeah. she's very wounded and very hurt and very, um, you know, mistrusting and angry a little bit and bitter, and I had to kind of, and mask, almost like very alpha, because she had to be her own man, yeah. and I, I kind of had to learn to soften a bit and get glammed up again, and, uh, embrace my femininity again. And you see that in the film towards the end of the film. I don't want to give away too many secrets, but you see that vulnerability come back yes. in the very end. So it's a nice circle. It's a, it's a nice, complete circle. Um, I just interviewed the director, and she said that there were some newcomers that you were yeah. working with. Such an incredible job. Yeah. Uh, what was it like working with a kid, A, and be a newcomer? That was really interesting. It was challenging at times, but it was also extremely rewarding because he did not have any preconceived notions on how to be or he wasn't you know a diva he didn't even know what that concept was so very fluid very yeah he we you know we I developed a relationship with him off screen so that he felt very comfortable with me um, while we were filming so that I could say hey this is gonna be kind of scary and kind of weird I'm gonna scream at you in your face you know but it's okay we're just playing a game you know or I, I would say you know we're just here together it's just you and me and like let's make this as good as it's gonna be you know, I would, I, let's, let's do this, as, like, if I do this, you're going to do that, right? Like, you're going to really punch me, right? And, like, make him excited about going to these places. And he almost kind of made it like a competition where it was like, all right, if I'm do this, like, you better do that, you know, because I just want that performance, like, <laughs> you know. I love that. No, it's tricky working with newcomers in, this, in the Don't industry. Care. And yeah. I had no idea until she told me because you both compliment each other so much throughout the film. And there's so many elements. There's a love story go on, going on as well. Um, in the end of the film, when the audience leaves the theater, what do you want the audience to mostly bring from this film and think about when they're when they're walking out and take home with them? I want them to, you know, identify with um, someone who's struggled with being hurt by family, by men, by um, 
society, you know, and someone who can overcome so much and still find her heart and find love in like an unexpected way and find family and, and have a second chance at life. Um, I think if she can, can you know, triumph that way um, and still find the silver lining in life and, and have a beautiful new life, unexpected as it is, like, that I hope people think that they can do the same. That's beautiful, to inspire others. To inspire, people. yeah, to overcome and not lose faith that, you know, something beautiful is right around the corner for them. I love that because I feel like we all need to be reminded of that, of that on a daily basis and that's the beautiful thing about art and film. Yeah, absolutely. I hope they're moved and touched and don't forget it. <laughs> Congratulations Thank again you. on this wonderful, wonderful breakthrough role for you, you so amongst much. your other performances. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.